Scene script. Have you ever pondered the nature of reality? Does the quantum world bewilder you? We live in a world where the quantum and the macroscopic rarely intersect. But when they do, they challenge our very understanding of reality. Welcome to the enigma of reality, a realm where the laws of physics as we know them seem to be turned on their heads. Imagine a world where particles can exist in two places at once, or change their behavior based on whether they're being observed. Sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, doesn't it? But this isn't fiction. This is quantum physics. This realm of the minuscule, the world of atoms and subatomic particles, behaves in ways that can seem utterly alien to us. It's a world where particles can act like waves, and waves can act like particles. It's a world where things can be in two places at once, or nowhere at all. It's a world where reality as we know it seems to dissolve into a cloud of probabilities. This is the world that quantum physics describes. It's a world that challenges our everyday understanding of reality. It's a world that seems to defy common sense. And yet, it's a world that's been confirmed again and again by experiment. But don't worry, you're not alone if you find this all a bit mind-boggling. Even the greatest minds in physics have been left scratching their heads by the strange behavior of the quantum world. As the legendary physicist Richard Feynman once said, if you think you understand quantum mechanics, you don't understand quantum mechanics. So, let's embark on this journey together into the strange and fascinating world of quantum physics. Let's explore the double-slit experiment, a simple yet profound experiment that reveals the mysterious behavior of particles when observed. Dive into the fascinating world of quantum physics where particles behave in the most unexpected ways. Imagine firing a gun at a wall with two slits, expecting the bullet to pass through one of them. Now, replace the bullet with a quantum particle. Welcome to the double slit experiment, a journey into one of the most intriguing and baffling realms of quantum physics. It's a simple setup, really. Picture a wall with two slits and a detector screen on the other side. We fire tiny particles, photons, electrons, even atoms, at this wall, expecting them to behave like bullets passing through one slit or the other to hit the detector screen behind. But here's where things get curious. When we fire these particles one at a time, instead of just two bright spots appearing on the detector where the particles have passed through the slits, we see an interference pattern. This pattern, full of light and dark fringes, is what we'd expect if waves, not particles, were passing through the slits. Wait, what? How can a single particle behave like a wave? And how can it pass through both slits at the same time? It's as if each particle is interfering with itself, creating a pattern that suggests it's taking multiple paths simultaneously. This is a phenomenon we'd expect from waves of light or water, not particles. And here's the kicker. If we try to peek to determine which slit the particle actually passes through, the interference pattern disappears. Instead, we see two bright spots on the detector screen, just as we'd expect if the particles were behaving like, well, particles. This is the heart of the double slit experiment, a demonstration of the strange and counterintuitive world of quantum mechanics. It shows us that particles can behave like waves when we're not looking, and like particles when we are. And it suggests that reality at the quantum level is far different from the reality we're accustomed to in our everyday lives. But wait, the story gets even stranger. Scene script. Ever seen a wave pass through two openings? It creates an interference pattern, right? Now imagine particles behaving in a similar way. Welcome to the mind-bending quantum realm, where particles can behave not just as particles but also as waves, a phenomenon known as particle wave duality. This strange behavior is at the heart of the double-slit experiment and is one of the most intriguing aspects of quantum physics. Picture a pebble dropped into a pond. It creates ripples or waves that spread out in all directions. If these waves encounter a barrier with two openings, they split into two new wave sources. As these waves overlap, they interfere with each other, creating a pattern of alternating light and dark bands on a screen placed behind. This is what we call an interference pattern, a classic characteristic of wave behavior. Now, let's swap our waves for particles. In the double slit experiment, we fire particles, say, electrons through two slits 
In a world dictated by classical physics, we'd expect these particles to behave like tiny bullets, hitting the screen directly behind each slit. But that's not what happens. Here's where things get peculiar. When we're not looking, these particles don't produce two bands corresponding to the slits as we might expect. Instead, they create an interference pattern, just like waves. This suggests that each particle doesn't just pass through one slit or the other, but somehow it goes through both slits at the same time, like a wave. But how can something be both a particle and a wave simultaneously? That's the million dollar question. This strange behavior, which contradicts our everyday experience and understanding, is what we call the particle wave duality. In the quantum world, particles have this uncanny ability to behave like waves when we're not observing them, and revert to acting like particles when we do. It's as if they know they're being watched. This is where the quantum world leaves us scratching our heads. Now what if you decide to peek and see which slit the particle passes through? You might think this is a simple question, but in the quantum world, nothing is as it seems. When we decide to observe which slit the particle passes through, a peculiar thing happens. The particle, once so free-spirited and nonchalant, seems to become self-conscious under our gaze. It behaves differently when it knows it's being watched. In the unobserved scenario, the particle acts like a wave, passing through both slits simultaneously and interfering with itself to create a pattern. But when we try to catch it in the act, the particle reverts to its individual nature. It chooses one slit or the other, like a traditional particle would. The interference pattern, that beautiful display of quantum weirdness, vanishes. Instead, we get two distinct bands on the screen, evidence of the particle's passage through one slit or the other. Now, it's easy to assume that the act of observing somehow disturbs the particle, forcing it to choose a path. But here's the kicker. Even if we use the gentlest means of observation, the outcome remains the same. The particle still knows it's being watched, and it still behaves like a particle, not a wave. This strange phenomenon is known as the observer effect. It's as if the very act of observation collapses the wave function, forcing the particle to choose a definite state. It's a cornerstone of quantum mechanics, a testament to the strange and counterintuitive nature of the quantum world. So, what's the moral of the story? In the quantum world, the act of watching changes the watched. Observation is not a passive act. It's an interaction, a conversation, if you will, between the observer and the observed. Just when you thought you had it figured out, the quantum world throws you a curveball. So what does all this mean? Why should we care about the odd behavior of tiny particles? The double slit experiment is far more than a peculiar scientific curiosity. It challenges our very understanding of reality and pushes us to rethink the nature of the universe. It's a doorway to the quantum world, a realm where particles can be in multiple places at once and where observing a system changes its state. You see, in the macro world where we live, a thing is either here or there, moving or stationary. But in the quantum world, a particle can be both here and there, both moving and stationary. This is not just a theoretical concept, it's a physical reality that has been proven time and again by experiments like the double slit. But the significance of the double slit experiment doesn't stop with philosophical musings about reality. It has practical implications as well. It forms the basis for technologies that are revolutionizing our world, like quantum computing. Quantum computing is a new type of computation that leverages the weird properties of quantum mechanics to process information in ways that classical computers cannot. It holds the promise of solving problems that are currently beyond our reach, like simulating complex biological systems or factoring large numbers for cryptography. Then there's quantum cryptography, a method of secure communication that uses the principles of quantum mechanics. The same principle that makes the double slit experiment so baffling. The fact that observing a quantum system changes its state makes quantum cryptography exceptionally secure. Any attempt to eavesdrop on a quantum communication would change the state of the system, alerting the communicants to the intrusion. The double slit experiment a simple setup with profound implications continues to baffle and intrigue us. It's a testament to the power of scientific inquiry 
and a reminder that the universe is far stranger and more wonderful than we can imagine. Welcome to the quantum world.